Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. I have a new wig, here we go again. This is the Adoration by Eva Gabor, and this is in Blonde Brown. Um, this is a very, very straight wig. I don't know, some of you may be into straight, I'm not. You can see the difference between what this does for my round face and what something like the sparkle does. Just makes all the difference in the world. By the way, this one is buttered toast and this one is brown blonde. This is Eva, this one's Raquel Welch, this one's Eva Gabor. So you can see the difference. If they're nearly identical. They truly are nearly identical. I think the buttered toast might have a few more highlights, I'm not quite sure, but that, that's the difference. If you like the buttered toast um, and you want an Eva Gabor style, brown blonde would be a good choice because it's nearly identical to the buttered toast. So I'm gonna turn around and show you the back of the Adoration. This is the Adoration in brown blonde. Got some pretty hair, got some pretty length. This is heat friendly, which means that you can use a curling iron on very low heat, no more than 160 degrees, and you can curl it, but not while you're wearing it. It's not recommended to do that while you're wearing it because you might burn the wig or yourself. So it's recommended that you take it off and you put it on one of these wooden blocks, blockheads they're called. And you use little T pins to hold it in place and then you do your curling. That's what's recommended. Now, I'm gonna take it off and show you the inside in just a minute. I'm gonna put on the sparkle in Buttered Toast by Raquel Welsh. Look at the difference, would you, that this makes, at least with my small round face. Do you see that? It makes all the difference in the world to have a little bit of height coming up in some fluffy bangs. Now, here's the Adoration, a very, very straight wig if you're into that, and almost no permatees, zero, just about zero permatees. There is the lace right there, you can see it, right along in here. And there's a little bit of open weave here and a lot of open weave in the back, as you can see. So this is the Adoration. I'm gonna turn it right side out. It has a little bit of bangs, it has side bangs, but you can see, you can see these side bangs it has, but it doesn't have bangs like this. This is, this is what I call fluffy bangs. These are the straight bangs. So it's, what, it's all according to what you want. And you can see how close in color this is. This is the Brown Blonde by Eva Gabor. This is the Buttered Toast in Raquel Welsh. So if there is a wig in Eva Gabor that you like the style of, but you like the buttered toast, the brown blonde is your answer, I think. It's nearly identical, nearly identical. So I'm gonna put on the adoration one more time, and then I'm going to model it one more time for you. <laughs> this is the best part. All right. You can see there's a few bangs, long bangs, but like I say, you can absolutely 
use a hot iron if you use it on very, very low. So that's the direction that comes with this. Now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you the side again and the back again. Pretty, pretty, pretty hair. And the side again and around. Now this is not my style, obviously. I'm just doing it to model it for you. It is not me. I'm more of the sparkle like that or the voltage style. These look the best on me. Sparkle looks pretty good on me. So anyways, this is the Adoration in Brown Blonde. It matches and corresponds to the Buttered Toast in Raquel Welsh. And so that's my recommendation there. If you're looking for a Brown Blonde or a Buttered Toast in Eva Gabor. So now I wanna to talk to you about something else today. Um, there's so much craziness in this world around us going on today with wars and conflicts and persecution, violence, threats, crime, disaster, terrorism, economic upheaval, we all know that, unemployment, divisions, disease, death. We fear for our own safety and the list just goes on and on and on. But what does God tell us in the Bible 360 plus times? What does he say? Do not fear. We have an almighty God that loves us, that has a plan for us, and has us in the palm of his hand. And we can rely and we can trust in our Savior, Jesus Christ. We can. So I hope you'll do that with me today. And remember that Jesus does love you and he has a plan for your life. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.